Hello everybody, this is Lollipop 81 MLE here today and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. And we have the She-Wolf of France. I did the She-Wolf of France herself, Isabella of France, the only da surviving daughter of King Philip IV of France and Joan I of Navarre. And she was notable in her lifetime for her diplomatic skills, intelligence, and beauty. She was a femme fatale figure in plays and literature over the years, usually portrayed as a beautiful, but cruel and manipulative figure. And by the way, here's the reference I use for my take of Isabella. Um, shout out to Mara Soap um, for the inspiration for her take that helped me with this. Anyways. Isabella arrived in England at the age of 12 during a period of growing conflict between the king and the powerful baronal fractions. Her new husband was notorious for the patronage he lavished on his favorite Pierre's uh, Gadsden, aka uh, Edward the Second, was in favor of Pierre's Gadsden, whatever the hell he is. But the queen supported Edward during these early years forming a working relationship with Pierre's and using her relationship with the French monarchy to bolster her own authority and power. Yeah, shit. After the death of Gaveston at the hands of the barons, however, Edward later turned to a new favorite, Hugh Despenser the Younger, an attempt to take revenge on the barons, resulting in the Dispenser War and the period internal, uh, rep uh, uh, Repression across England. Isabella could not tolerate this dude, and by 1325, her marriage to Edward was at its breaking point. And Isabella went on a trip to France, may have had an affair with Roger Mortimer, and the two may have agreed to the point to dispose Edward and ousted the Spencer family. And yeah, she disposed Edward II and she probably arranged the murder of Edward II as well. Oh, yeah, more French royal insignias here. But anyways, she became regent on behalf of their son Edward III, and Isabella Mortimer's reign began to crumble after that. Partly because of her lavish spending, but the queen's success but unpopularity resolved long-running problems such as the wars with Scotland. Thankfully, Edward III forcibly asserted his authority at the age of 18. Mortimer was executed, and Isabella lost her regency, was put under arrest for two years, but she did live the rest of her life in considerable style, though she did not reside at court. She did vi often visit her grandchildren. But anyways, how lit was that? I added lightning for this piece. But anyways, the final piece is up on my DeviantArt page, along with all my other social media links linked down in the description below at lollipop081mle. And I hope you enjoyed this. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. I post videos like this every Fridays and Saturdays, as well as Lollipop Sings and Lollipop Discusses. And I will see you next time. Peace, y'all!